Hi there, this is Andrew Brody with Yokogawa, and today I'd like to show you a quick demonstration of how to put a new point into the Stardom RTU's programming package logic designer and get that point updating with a generated value and bring it into the Fast Tools SCADA environment. So, Fast Tools is our supervisory control and data acquisition system. So, I'm going to take a point that I create here. Bring it over to the fast tool side, get it entered into that system, and show it updating live on screen. So essentially completing, completing the path from creating a point on the controller, putting it in the controller, have it executing, and displaying it on a supervisory control and data acquisition screen. So what I've gone is done is opened up my logic designer, which is the programming package for Stardom and just opened up a sample project here. And the only reason I'm doing this is just to kind of get a little jump start on generating a live updating value. So I have a little line of code here that's essentially generating a sine wave. So it's just a creating a value that's going to give me a nice kind of flowing trend. So it's uh, called sine in this case. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy sine, do a paste, do a paste. I'm just going to take this guy and call it sign2. And sign2 is going to be a real variable. So this is my newly created value. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the value of sign and dumping it into sign2 here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a make on this. And just check, made sure there's no problems with my code. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my main variable sheet here. And down here at the bottom, you're going to see sign2, real variable. The only thing you're going to want to make sure that you've got checked is this little OPC box here. Uh, this really has little to do with OPC. It has more to do with exposing the sign2 variable for external projects to read it. So in this case, Fast Tools is going to be kind of the external project that's going to go ahead and reach into the controller and read that variable. So whether it's an OPC server or fast tools or some other kind of external device or project reaching into fast tools, I need to make sure I have this OPC box checked on the variables I want external devices uh, to read. So in this case, sign to real. Make sure that's checked. Do a make on it. Okay. Everything's still good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download the changes. So that's downloading that new code into the controller. So now sign, if we uh, take a look uh, here, should be feeding into sign2. If I want to kind of just double check that, I can kind of go online and debug. And we can kind of see that the sign value is feeding into sign2. The next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, close out this and I'm going to go into Fast Tools. Now, to get into Fast Tools, there's a few things you got to do. You've got to have Fast Tools, of course, installed and licensed. But first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you've started Fast Tools. And then once it's finished starting, you're going to want to go into the engineering module. I've already opened up the engineering module. And the engineering module kind of flows like this. You start at the top, configuring your equipment. Then you set up your points. Okay. So these are some of the I.O. drivers that are available. And so the one we're interested in is Stardom FCX. Now there's a few things you have to do to set up the equipment. The first is create a line. And you can do that by right-clicking and going add a line. And then you'll create a station, and you can do that by right-clicking and picking Add a Station. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So I go Add a Line, Line Name. This is uh, whatever I want it to be called. So I'm calling it Stardom Calm Line here. You can give it a description. Under equipment nodes, just pick node one. And then the next thing you have to do is you got to kind of give the overall process a name. 
So I could just call this uh, something like that. Then I'm going to give it an IP address of the unit. Timing, options, you can pretty much just go with the defaults on those. I can go ahead and do an add. Oh, it's letting me know that I got to give my process name at least to start with. Let's try that. So I've gone ahead and added in equip star. So right here, we can see that it's added in. So that establishes my connection to the start of the unit. The next thing I'm going to need to do is I'm actually going to have to add in the actual piece of equipment, the controller at the bottom. So let's go ahead and do an add station here. I'm going to pick stardom com line for my line up here because that's my connection. I'll just uh, make sure I have the uh, IP address again there. If you have an FCN or an FCJ, you could always use uh, redundant lines as well. And uh, let's see, these here are, uh, if you go ahead and have a variable for doing the kind of communication status for a controller, you, I'll show you how to set that up later. But you can have these linked in here as well in case you want to have a status of communications for it. Then under uh, options, these are interesting here. These are the different scan rates. You'll see this later when we set up the point. How fast you want to scan, so 5,000, 2,000, 1,000. Then here is just for uh, essentially uh, doing a check on your communications. Anything else we need here? I think that's about everything we need. And so let's do an add. Oh, we got to give it a name. Station name. I'm going to call this a demo stardom. Okay, so now I've gone ahead and created the actual unit. So I've got the connection, I've got the unit. Then I can go ahead and add a point to it. All right, and uh, this here is uh, essentially where I put in the actual I.O. address, which was main dot sign two. Remember how we had the main variable sheet or main program? So it's main, and then the variable is sign two. So main period sign two. So I've got that. I can pick my scan speed. I think uh, everything's good here. I can give it a uh, point name as far as this controller is concerned. I'm just going to call it that. Go ahead, add it in. So now we can see I've added in my piece of equipment. I've added in a variable underneath it, giving it a scan rate. The next thing to do is to go ahead and add it into my item list, which is down here. So what you can do for items is you can create installations, which is kind of the first level. So let's go ahead and call this one my stardom installation. I'm going to go ahead and add that in. go. Then you can add a unit. These are just kind of uh, things that you can sort on, help keeps things organized. So the actual unit. So my new unit. So once you have the installation and unit, you can go ahead and add in an actual item here. So let's go to equipment. Let's go to the uh, demo stardom. Sign two. Okay, so I got the point hooked up. Everything looks good there. 
If I want, I can go ahead and put in some of the limits and filtering information. So stuff like maybe my, uh, I don't know, high limit, my high scale, my trending. engineering units, my value format, I'm going to say Rio, I'm going to say it's something like that for my value format, kind of stating how many numbers and how many uh, decimal places I want to go, so I've got that. Let's see, I think that pretty much uh, covers us for everything there. You can classify it into areas if you want. I'm going to go ahead and do an add. Oh, looks like I forgot to actually give it a name. So let's go up here. Just whatever I want to name it for the actual item name. Okay, and now once we've got this sign to created, I can go ahead and do an update value. So we can see by essentially right clicking on sign to and going update value, we can kind of see right here that we've managed to create a point and get it matching kind of what the uh, stardom units generate. So we've got a real value now coming in from the stardom unit. So the next thing to do now that we've got this uh, real value created and updating inside of the fast tools environment is to go ahead and add it to a screen. So let me show you how to add it to a screen. So we go down here, we go to programs, we go to fast tools, we go to the edit module. This is where we can kind of add variables and create screens. So uh, in this case there's already some security set up so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in my username. And then uh, visualizations, this is kind of where I already have some. And symbols, this is where I already have kind of pre-built widgets that I can use. So I could go file, new display, and I could just go ahead and uh, give myself a uh, display name. So I'm going to go uh, stardom demo point. Go OK, so I've got my blank screen up here. I'm going to go over to symbols, and there's various palettes here, but I'm going to go to kind of my, just my demo palette here, and the point I'm interested in is right here. So if I go demo PBI V9, this is kind of a nice one I can drop on screen. Once I click on it over here under values, this is where I can link it to the actual stardom point. So if I go here, should start to see something that looks familiar. There's my stardom, my new unit, sign to. So I've got it linked in there. I can go ahead and do a save on that. So I've kind of created a new screen, added the point to the screen. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the uh, operator interface here. So I'm going to go operator interface, right click on that. I'm just running it as an administrator in this case. Uh, you don't have to. It just depends on your security policies. I've already got a project set up, so I'm just going to go ahead, open that up. So this is kind of a demo project I have up. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, type in the name of the screen I just created. There we go. You can see there's my uh, value up on the screen. You can see degrees. And since this is the kind of the first time I've opened it up, you can see it's now kind of in my uh, drop down of screens that I've previously visited. So there we go. I've essentially taken a point, added it into my stardom controller, 
added it to a display screen, and uh, now it's updating live. So this is Andrew Brody with Yoko Gala. Hope this has been a uh, good demonstration for you, showing how to uh, create points and bring them into the fast tool skate environment. Take care. Have a great day.